So it's like when we uh, we ascend to the next level, we um, have acquiring a new status of beingness of who we are. So the angelic beings would, uh, in my feeling, is that they're simply at the top of the ladder. Is that is that would you agree with that? Once again, it comes back to the filtering process. Um, if you can imagine that um, your your perception is that like a radio, that um, and there's a dial on the front of it, and as you dial through the different frequencies, you can access different channels. Then obviously, one side of the dial is um, spirit. The next part of the dial is uh, extraterrestrials. The next part of the dial is. Uh, um, angels, the next part of the dial is this. The whole thing itself is source. The whole thing is is one energy, but um, it's just the uh, the portals that you're accessing um, these this information through seems like that it is at a higher or lower level. Um, extraterrestrials themselves um, class these the interactions that they have with different races and different beings as just being different frequencies not high, not low, not bad, not good but just that they are. Um, one point that I did want to make in regards to what the extraterrestrials have said um, something that I sort of want to jump back to a bit is they say that symbols can be a manifestation of energetic thought. Uh, you're then uh, manifesting your symbols into existence. You create healing symbols and then place them into a, the etheric being. And as you are aware, they say, that all illness is energy. You can also use crystals to balance the energetic body. So you can create an etheric crystal by using your light body via the thought process rather than the crystal being a physical entity it is of an etheric nature resonating at a healing level this can be passed to another being allowing them to balance the crystal's physical form is not needed as the etheric form is in existence thought via pure intent with love allows you as the masters of your own creative abilities to create these etheric crystalline forms you then can pass healing to others so I, I know that I've jumped from one thing to another, but I just wanted to make it clear that extraterrestrials class illness as energy, um, so that um, if a cell is uh, vibrating at a frequency when it's healthy, um, that is a frequency. If suddenly the cell is unwell or has changed or is malformed, they see the cell as having changed its energy shape or structure. They then talk about changing the energy of the cell back uh, so that it uh, reforms itself back to a healthy cell. Um, they've proved this to me many times by I've been unwell and they will come and then I will be instantly well while they're with me and then when they leave I am unwell again and all they've done is changed my energy while, while they've been with me. Yes, that's what I was thinking that myself because um, it's strange because this is, you can go up to somebody that's in pain and instantly take the pain away and, and I've done that myself actually with a few people, there was a man, there was a man with toothache um, some time ago, night workers, and, and I helped him with his toothache. Now normally I, I would doubt myself and I'd have self doubt and I realised later that you shouldn't doubt yourself because it's simply energy and uh, all you have to do is put that energy right and now I tend to keep my focus on um, maintaining my frequency at higher levels because the higher we vibrate the more easy it is to stay well because the disease tends to come from when our frequencies start to break down and we start and negativity pulls us down to a point where the body is no longer functioning properly energy is no longer flowing and we've got to keep that energy flowing all the time to stay healthy and that is also a protection against um, unhealthy food as well. Uh, if we eat something bad, we should uh, instantly start meditating and sending light and high frequency and love energy as well, because that also helps to fight that um, 
that spiraling motion of going downhill. And people who are ill tend to make themselves even more ill because they start to feel fear, um, negativity, and doubt, and and that spirals them down further and further to the point where they end up dying. Usually, if they don't actually change their attitude and mental state of mind, so others can induce health. So what you're saying, I agree with it entirely. Yeah, listen, um, something that I do want to do is read um, the second chapter of the uh, second book, which is called Many States of Connection. And the main guide is talking about um, the altered state and process and the communication process between you as an individual and um, your guides and extraterrestrials. So they say that when one is practicing altered states or meditation, the process of developing into a channel may take a different format as people will have their own means for gaining the altered state process. Once you are at a point of contact you are somewhat like a shell. A person feels the way that they normally would when they are in some level of the altered state but actually there is no contact. Once the person is ready guides and spirit use them for communication. They are blended with spirit via the etheric field. The process of altered states is interesting as it allows the energies that work with people to develop the person while they are alone in their own space without the need for a partner to watch them. This overcomes the problem of talking to spirits while entering a person when there is no one with them. <clears throat> what they're trying to say is, is that when people sit for connection they quite often sit alone because they have no one to sit with. One of the hardest things to do when you're developing is to allow connection because quite often you don't know whether the information is coming from your subconscious conscious mind or from some um, spirit communicator and it's very important to understand that you ground yourself uh, when you start that you ask for protection uh, from your spirit guide or your spirit team or your angels or whoever and then to then continue on with that communication process. Now one thing is, is that people have to remember in any communication process it's not something like instant pudding. Unfortunately for society these days with the internet and everything at our fingertips we expect something to happen straight away. It may be that you have to sit every day for a year or two years or five years before you get some level of connection. It doesn't mean that you're not able to work in energy. It doesn't mean that you can't work as a healer. It means that if you are looking for a specific level of connection with an extraterrestrial race, then you are going to have to be attuned to the level of energy that they work at. So that's one very, very interesting thing that people have to understand um, that sitting ex for 10 minutes and expecting that all of a sudden you're going to um, have the natural vortex of energies around you that allows a communication to cr be created, that isn't going to happen uh, unless, of course, then it was supposed to happen and then it will. Uh, that means that obviously the person uh, has come to a place in their life where they would have unconsciously developed those energies that are required for connection.